Welcome to the beautiful Clyde Valley. We're here today to look at one of the last great medieval castles in Scotland. I'm Adrian Cox from Historic Scotland and we're here today to visit Craig Nethan Castle. The castle was built around about 1530 and it's built on a triangular spur of land overlooking the Craignethan Burn and the Nethan River. So it has superb natural defences on three sides, but from where I'm standing on the west, it's overlooked by higher ground, so it's vulnerable to artillery attack. The castle's builder was Sir James Hamilton of Finnet, who was a close advisor to King James V. He was very much a confidant of the king. James Hamilton was the illegitimate son of the first Earl of Arran, and he was closely related as well to James II. So he had royal aspirations and became a very rich man. By the time of his death in 1540, he was one of the wealthiest people, wealthiest noblemen in all of Scotland. We enter the castle through this lovely doorway through the West Curtain Wall, and we come into the outer courtyard, a large open space. In the 16th century, this area, the outer court, would have been quite busy. There would have been buildings arranged around the curtain walls with gun loops in the bottom parts of the walls, and the whole area would be full of gardens and activity, and perhaps orchards too. The outer curtain wall had four defensive towers, and the best surviving one is the northwest tower over my shoulder here, which was later converted into a ducat. Pigeons and their eggs were an important source of food during the long winter months. At the heart of the castle was James Hamilton's great tower house or lodgings, protected by a number of defensive features, including this great ditch around about six metres deep, cut into the rock. The great lodgings at the heart of the castle were protected by an enormous wall, the west rampart, which was here. It was five metres wide and ten metres high. Beyond the Great Western Rampart, we're coming into the inner court now, which was formerly cobbled and approaching James Hamilton's of Finnet's great tower house. Let's go inside, shall we? So James Hamilton of Finnet was something of an architect and was well ahead of his time. And he designed this entrance lobby here and then the entrance into the great hall that we're stepping into now. A wonderfully large space, six metres high. The Great Hall was where the Lord and Lady held their banquets, sat at this end. Uh, it's a well-lit space with window seats in the windows and a minstrel's gallery up here to provide the party with music at all times. As you come up the flight of steps into the upper levels of the tower, you come to the private apartments where Mary Queen of Scots would have stayed in 1568. It was the Hamilton family's support of Mary Queen of Scots that brought the full weight of the Scottish crown crashing down upon them in 1579 when King James VI's troops arrived here and demolished the western defences. Craig Nethan Castle was built by a remarkable man in the 16th century and today, cared for by Historic Scotland, it's a remarkable place to visit. Mm -hmm.